So, hi everyone. Today I have translated this really pretty bow. And again, it is no just another one that was referred to as easy to make cute bow. So I am going to refer to it as a triangle um, double tux. Because basically you've got the base of a double tux shape beneath. And then you get these triangle points into the centre. So like I said, that's why I'm going to refer to it as that from now on. And this is all in three inch ribbon. And I just want to show you something because I always double my layers ribbon on, the, ribbon on this. Because like I said, this is my pattern and that's my plane. Because if you do it with just pattern where you've got the white backing instead of double sided ribbon. This is the look of your bow. And it's just not the same as this so like i said just so you know the difference between like i said layering your ribbon like i said you use more but like i said that's not half as pretty as adding that solid color behind it so that's why i always do that so just so you can see the effect okay so you want four pieces of 14 inches and here's some i've set up earlier like i said i've got this lovely glittery ombre pastel dots and I've got this nice, like, peachy pink solid plane. And like I said, I've layered them together. And I have heat sealed all my edges. And like I said, I just pinch them until that's sealed. And I've done that on both pieces. Okay. Now, again, this one, it's not overly complicated. Okay. So it's, it's not the most complicated bow in the world. But again, it's one of these where you need to get your stitches right on this piece to get the effect right and stop things from like popping open and pulling apart. So like I said, again, it's another one where you really need to pay attention to your stitch placement. And again, like I said, I'm, I've got my white, my white thread so you'll be able to see properly and I'll just explain it and show you both sides of what it should actually look like. Because like I said, if you don't do it, it doesn't pull these pieces in correctly and you don't get that dip and the balance, okay? So, like I said, you've got your four pieces layered together, 14 inches. And all you want to do, let's put this one out of the way, is from your corner is fold down a triangle one side. Fold down a triangle this side and then you take this corner, match it directly up with that triangle point here and move your clip and the same this side directly against that triangle and I'll show you the opposite side as well and this is what you get where you've got these curved bits here and your triangle coming to here and you want the edges all completely lining up and what you want when we're doing our stitches we want to make sure that that layer is going through there and that layer we go through over there and we'll repeat exactly the same steps on this piece so fold clip down clip to get your triangle and bring your tips up to that very corner of the triangle move your clip very corner of that triangle move your clip like i said you should have the layer so that they're all all lined up and that tip is dead center to these two pieces here and like I said when we stitch those are directly on that corner like so okay so like I said that is your front this is what the back looks like and like I said, the back is what's going to give us the double tucks look at the back. And like I said, there's your triangles as they're starting to look like they're coming together. 
okay and like i said this is where the stitching is vitally important okay so we always want to start from above and you always want to make sure you capture in both your layers so above one two three and your fourth one you're going to be going through the corner of that square here and you want to be coming up through both sides of your triangle so through that side the back and through the top tip of the triangle this side okay and then we're going to do exactly the same this side we want to be going through that triangle the top two layers the bottom two layers and then through there so there should be six layers that you gather in through that triangle so as you can see here we've gone through one two three four five six and we're doing the same through that bit okay so in big stitch across the center from beneath another big stitch over and out and then you can move your clip out of the way and pull so in big stitch across the triangle tips going through both those sides both through points of the triangle across and out and your back again you should have one two three four and your fifth one is sort of going over that join there and then when you cinch your triangle should be hidden and you should have two creases here either side and then the triangle a little bit further dipped in and that's what will give you your triangle effect and again like i said i'm going to do the cinch stitch round again but if you wanted to you could line up your layers like i said make sure you've got two creases here and you, you triangle a little bit deeper and then the two creases this side line them up stitch it through Put that to one side do this stitch together glue together whichever you prefer but like i said i do it this way and i'm going to start from this side and again stitch placement placement key from above big stitch across up through that corner here through all the layers of the triangle all of those same this side, make sure you're going through all of those layers, both sets, free centre that side. Okay. Big stitch across coming up from behind and back out through that corner there. There we go, and then like I said, you can just continue to keep cinching around. Now, the other thing is, is when you're doing this, make sure you capture layers, because as you saw there, that loop sort of twisted under and I had to push the triangle back down. If you'd have missed capturing the, that tip of that triangle there, that would pop open and that would sort of completely, again, unbalance the bow and like I said it sort of moves it so it shifts it so like I said this layer could be like I said if you miss this corner here like I said that could unravel or like I said that one could be like out here instead of lined up neatly and again I'm just gonna capture that fray two peaks this side two peaks this side and you triangle dipping down in the center is what you want Please excuse the lighting today. The lovely UK weather is being its normal delightful self and it can't decide whether or not it wants to be sunny or whether or not it's going to have a massive downpour. So, like I said, it is sort of going in and out a little bit. 
So, like I said, now I've gone around that side and we're certain everything's okay. As I said, I get the two peaks this side, the two peaks that side, the triangle in the centre. And as you can see, you can see where my stitching originally went through. So we want to go through around there. So we're going through the triangle bit again as well and come back through. Let's move my clips out of the way. Pull that all the way through, nice and tight. And like I said, don't worry about the messiness at the minute. We'll sort that out in a minute. And again, line up those creases both sides make sure the triangle is dipping nicely in the middle see where the stitch has started there go through there all the way round nice and tight so we've got that join and this is a look that your bow starts to get and again, because it's me, I am going to thread over this bit by going through the backs of the triangles, this side, just to stop it from popping open. And like I said, whenever you do this, when you come up through the back, make sure you stay in as close to the centre as possible so we don't see any of those stitches when we put the centre on. nice and tight and I'm just going to do that again once more and then I will stitch off in the back and across that side there we go and that stops that from pulling open and then like I said I'm going to stitch off in the back like so but like I said do it however you personally prefer and then like I said I also just do this and the other thing you can do is fold your creases over so you get your triangle back like this okay line up your double tucks bits so that they're like so do the same on this side okay and what you can do is make sure you've got your glue gun nowhere near but open that up put a pinch of glue there and a pinch of glue there and you can do the same on this side like i said work out where you're happy with where you want your point to sit, open it up nice and wide, put your glue somewhere where you're not going to see it and you can do that. Okay, like I said you could add a base bow but you'd need two times 40 at 15 inches at least on a double tuck or something like that or a big flared bow but like I said we're going to wrap our centre and I've got this cute ombre ribbon here because again this is not the tidiest and it doesn't fit a nine mil over it can slip either side so we're going to cover that up with a slightly wider center okay like i said this is what the back of your bow looks like and like i said i'm just going to use this gray because it's the closest bit of nine mil i had at hand and we're covering it up anyway so it doesn't matter you could always use a nice nice uh, embellishment instead i've just not been in my embellishment tray today so a wider middle it is for me and like i said wrap around that nice and tightly tightly at least twice and 
and as you can see that's sort of pulling away from the center so like i said make sure it goes under and round get rid of that extra don't forget to heat seal And then, like I said, you could do your knotted middle, or like I said, you can do your scrunch. Anything that is going to be big enough to cover that area that you want covering. So, like I said, if you wanted to do a knot, you could do this. So, you've got a nice chunky knot. Like I said, just do. your chunky knot and like I said that will be perfect I actually quite like that so I'm going to have a nice knot don't forget to heat seal your ends and what I do is I glue that square bit to stop it from slipping like so you can put that on the center where you want it like this it's still too much cut your extra and then we just want to glue this side like so and then glue this side but like I said you can do a scrunch middle you can do any sort of center or embellishment or anything like that that you personally prefer but like I said that's pretty one and like I said that is your sides like i said if you want to glue them you can do that so thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed this and you like the bows like i said all your different colors give you all different effects like i said i've been playing with halloween ribbon as you can see like so we've got a lovely sparkle one that we've just done in the tutorial and if you need any more help or tips or advice or anything like that or you've got any questions about the bow style feel free to join me on my facebook page and group and i will answer any questions that you've got and thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you bye